Welcome back to The Patrick Lane Show, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and real estate. And today, we're going to talk about the stimulus checks and what's going to happen to them. Before we do that, though, do me a favor, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that little notification bell so that you get to see all the videos that we put out. Hopefully, you get some entertainment or education out of it, and it'll help us to grow the channel. So it's sort of a win-win proposition. Now, as for today, guess what? The stimulus has passed the House, the stimulus has passed the Senate, and it's on its way for the signature of the president. So what does that mean? I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff in the stimulus bill, right? It's $1.9 trillion, and we're not going to go through all of that. But I thought it was very interesting that this week, those $1,400 checks that everybody's going to get, and think about it, if you are... Uh, for, if you get the $1,400 and if you're married, each of you get the $1,400. And then if you have, say, two kids, then you get another $1,400 for each kid. Uh, that's going to be a lot of money coming into some people's households. And so Deutsche Bank did a survey to figure out what people were going to be spending all of this money on. And guess what they found in their survey? I'm not sure it's going to be exactly what Congress intended when it passed the stimulus bill, but Deutsche Bank found that most people are going to be putting at least some of their stimulus payment into the stock market. That's right, into the stock market. In fact, 18 to 24-year-olds who are receiving the uh, stimulus payment said that half or more of their stimulus check is going straight into stocks. And guess where they're headed? Yeah, that's right. You can guess it from Wall Street Bets. It's going to be GME and AMC and all of the other Wall Street Bets stocks that we've heard so much about, the meme stocks, over the last couple of months. But it's not just the 18 to 24-year-olds because... The 25 to 35 year olds said the same thing, that they were going to be putting a large percentage of their stock, uh, of their stimulus check into the stock market. And guess what? The next age category said the same thing. And in fact, even people over 55 said they were going to at least put some of it into the stock market. And so it's really an amazing thing to think about that People are basically being paid by the government to invest into a stock that the government now has two committees investigating whether the stocks are being manipulated and whether retail investors should be cut out of the whole idea of retail investing with zero fee commissions or zero commission trades. And so it's an odd sort of self fueling cycle that we've got going here, where instead of stimulus checks, you might as well say that we're getting stonkulous checks, because that's really what's going to happen. So Deutsche Bank determined that based on their survey, they think $170 billion of the stimulus is going to go straight into the stock market. Now, if you think that that's a I don't know. If you think that that is a good thing, do me a favor and comment down below. If you think it's a bad thing, leave that comment too. I want to know what you're thinking when it comes to whether or not the stimulus money should be spent on uh, investing. Now, on the one hand, obviously the stimulus is meant to spark the economy. It's meant to help people and families who have struggled through the last uh, year to stay on track, get back on track, take care of bills and all of those necessities that um, you know we all have to deal with when our income is reduced. Uh, but on the other hand, you know maybe investing some of that money is a good idea because we can't rely on the government, frankly, to bail us out, the retail uh, individuals out here, uh, like they did the banks that were shorting stocks, shorting the housing market back in 2008 and 2009. So, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's a double-edged sword. This money is meant to support the economy, support individuals who really need the help and have been hurt the most by what's happened and all of the shutdowns and lockdowns and all of that over the last year. 
Uh, but at the same time, maybe it's a good thing that people are actually taking a look at investing and planning for their future. Now, of course, the argument from Congress is don't do that. Uh, don't put your money in the stock market. Uh, we're going to take care of you. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that once this money hits people's pockets, they can do it, do with it what they want and spend it where they think it's going to be best for them, whether that is buying necessities, food, catching up on bills, or whether that's investing for their future. And even the group that said they were going to take the biggest part of it and put it in the stock market was only about half of that stimulus payment. So Again, if you're getting $1,400 and you put 700 of it into GME or AMC or any of the other meme stocks that have been out there over the past few weeks, maybe that's a good thing because you can juice the economy in your local neighborhood by taking care of your essentials. And then you can also juice the stock market and the economy overall by investing in yourself if you're going to hold those stocks. Who knows? So I find it an interesting sort of juxtaposition between what is supposed to happen with the stimulus and what's actually going to happen with the stimulus. So that's the video for today. I appreciate you taking a look at it. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think about the stimulus checks. Let me know what you think about people investing all of that into the stock market or most of it into the stock market. Let me know whether you're going to do the same thing. If you get a stimulus check, are you putting half of it in the stock market? And if you are, tell me what you're going to buy. Is it going to be GME? Is it going to be AMC? Is it going to be Roblox? Uh, that's the latest one out. Or is it going to be something else? Or maybe you're just going to buy an ETF fund, which is great and will probably get you to retirement the same as everybody else. So I appreciate you tuning in today. Do me a favor before we get out of here smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that little notification bell. We really appreciate it. It's helping us to build the channel and hopefully you're getting some knowledge and information, education and entertainment out of the video. And that way it's a two-way street. And we'll see you in the next video.